everyone welcome back to the lilac house my name is crystal i'm so glad you're here today's video has been a year in the making i haven't been making it for a year but i've been thinking about it for a year and today i'm sharing with you three unique gift basket ideas from the dollar tree i'm so excited to share it with you let's get into this video the first gift basket is a self-care basket this was one of my favorite baskets i've ever created I got this cute little jar from the Dollar Tree and I bought some of my favorite Epsom salt. I filled it full of salt and it smelled wonderful and looked beautiful. Next I opened up the box of chamomile tea. I placed a bunch of the tea packets inside of this mug. Then I removed the candle from its packaging and I also removed the lavender essential oil roller from its packaging as well. I filled up the basket with tissue paper and I tied a little Christmas bow around it. Then I placed in a crossword puzzle, a face mask, a hand mask, and a hair mask. I then placed in the lavender bath salt the mug full of tea packets, the lemon soap, and the candle. I added a Godiva chocolate dome bar and the lavender oil. I loved this gift basket. I can't believe how wonderful it turned out for under $15. The next gift basket would be perfect to give to a family for a fun family night or a couple for a date night or anyone who loves making easy desserts. First, I removed the spatula from its packaging. And then I got one of those cute little jars from the Dollar Tree and I added in the sprinkles. It took two of these containers of sprinkles to fill the little jar full of the rainbow sprinkles. Next, I used a mixing bowl from the Dollar Tree and I filled it with tissue paper and I tied a little bow around it as well. I put in two packages of sugar cookie mix, the little tub of frosting, the sprinkles in the little jar, and the cookie spatula. This is such a fun and delicious gift basket for under $10 that anyone would love to receive. The next gift basket would be great for anyone. I am making this specific one for a teenager. I found a caboodle from the Dollar Tree and I thought it would be the perfect container. I removed the lavender shower fizzies from their packaging. I left the caboodle open and filled it with tissue paper. I placed in a hair mask and a face mask. Then I placed in my Holy Grail nail polish remover and this Dove body care cream. I picked out a pretty pink nail polish and added the shower fizzies. Last but not least, I added another Godiva chocolate dome. This is a great gift anyone would love for under $10. I love the idea of giving a personalized gift basket. I had so many more ideas and I wanted to share a few suggestions for you. 
The first one would be to think outside of the box. I wanted to create something I personally would want to receive, but most of all, something I would use up. I don't like wasting things, especially items other people spend money on and gift to me. The next tip I had was creating gift baskets for people of all ages. They have so many Mel Beauty Care items this year at the Dollar Tree that I might go back and make a cute little gift basket for Robert. I also love creating kid gift baskets. You can add modeling clay, mac and cheese, bubbles, crayons, coloring books, their favorite candy. I've learned a few tips over the years on how to make your gift basket from the Dollar Tree look more high-end. First, use a container that can be repurposed. I used an organizing container, a mixing bowl, and a caboodle. All three of those can be used for something else. Next, fill the container you are going to use with tissue paper. It helps elevate the items and look more full. Next, take things out of their packaging. This was a game changer when I learned it. When I added the bath salt to the little mason jar, it automatically made it look fancier. Same with the sprinkles. When you remove the bulky packaging, like the, from the tea parcels, the cookie spatula, the oils, the shower fizzies, now you can add those products in different places and the packaging isn't the emphasis, the product is. It looks so much nicer. Next, look for name brand items that the receiver of the gift will recognize. For instance, Yes to Tomato Brand, Godiva, Pillsbury, Betty Crocker, Dove. I wanted to make all of these gift baskets from the Dollar Tree so that you could see how you can give something that's extremely nice but also extremely frugal. And the best part about it is that the products in it will be used. But if you want to elevate your gift basket a little more, you could always give something that is a little more money, add it to the gift basket, and then use Dollar Tree items to accessorize the more expensive item. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspired you to know how to give frugally this year, but also how to give things that people will use. And I would love to receive any of these gifts. Let me know in the comments what you plan to give for this holiday season. And I will see you next time on the Lilac House. Bye.